What is up everyone, Technic here. So, if you ever wanted to customize your Vita Shell menu, this is going to be the video for you. So, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So first things first, I need everyone to go ahead and go to the link in my description. This is going to be my Google Drive link to all the themes that I've accumulated including the Technic one that I made myself. So what you're going to want to do is scroll over to theme, click on it, and then scroll down to download. It's going to take a little while to download, but it's just uh, parsing every single theme to put it inside of a zip folder. And after that's done, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on it which if you already have some kind of extracting tool, which at some point you probably should, if not, I highly recommend downloading WinRAR. WinRAR is going to continuously tell you to buy the paid version, but that's actually a glitch. Uh, WinRAR has actually been free, uh, which is, a lot of people don't know this, but WinRAR has actually been free from the beginning. It's just an error that they just refuse to patch out because it's just too funny. But um, other than that, you're going to see the theme folder with all of the themes inside of it. All you have to do is go ahead and drag and drop it onto the or onto your main uh, home screen on your computer. Um, I'm not going to do this because I already have the theme folder right here. Let me go ahead and close this out as well. So basically, um, what you're going to do next is you're going to grab your PS Vita and put it into USB mode. Alternatively, if you're on a PS TV, you will be putting your PS TV into FTP mode to do the FTP transfer. So on your PS Vita, go ahead and go into Vita Shell. And whether you're on the PS TV or PS Vita, just go ahead and press the select button to put it in either USB mode or FTP mode. If it's a PS TV, it's going to be FTP mode. Or sorry, yeah, PS TV. So once your PS Vita is plugged in into your computer or you're in FTP mode, you should see all of your files pop up. The folder that we're going to be looking for is called Vita Shell. And if you're not seeing all of these hidden folders right here, just do me a favor and go to view and make sure that hidden items are checkmarked so you can see every single folder. But you should be able to see the Vita Shell folder. It's not one of the hidden folders on there. So you're going to go ahead and go into the Vita Shell folder. And this is your UX0 that's being displayed, by the way. Go into the Vita Shell folder. And as you can see, you're going to see a theme folder inside of there. Now, I already have all the themes on here, but you're most likely going to have maybe one or two themes. It's most likely going to be two. Um, go ahead and go inside of the theme folder. And you're going to select all of these files and you can either drag and drop or you can press the right click button to do copy and then you can go into your ux0 and press the right click button and then go to paste and then you would just paste all the themes inside of that vita shell theme folder so after that's done go ahead and close out the folder go ahead and go or press the cancel button on your PS Vita because this is going to be the X button or the server button for you. We'll go ahead and press the cancel button and then you're going to go back into your PS Vita. Okay, so now that we're back in our PS Vita or PS TV, you're going to go ahead and press the start button to pull up the main settings menu. Just do me a favor and go to restart Vita Show. You always want to do that whenever you 
do anything as far as like transferring files over to your PS Vita or anything like that. I highly recommend that. And if you're doing any kind of games or any anything like that, uh, you would actually go to not this menu. You'd actually go to this menu and press ref refresh live area. But other than that. All of the themes should be on here, so go ahead and go into your main settings again by pressing the start button. And then you're going to see a themes tab. You just press the left or the right button on your directional pad to change the theme. And I'll just go ahead and showcase a few of them. So the Electron theme, and whenever you choose another theme, just scroll down to restart Vita Shell and it will display the new theme of Vita Shell. And I press the circle button. I'm so used to my uh, Japanese PS Vita. I apologize for that. <laughs> so as you can see, this is this should be a default other theme that's on your PS Vita already. But I'm gonna go ahead and go into the themes that you might have not seen yet. But I don't want to show all of the themes. I, I kind of just want to let you check it out yourself. But. I'm just showing a few examples like I, I've just shown the Akatsuki theme I believe and the next one would be the Adam theme but again I don't want to show every single theme um, I'm gonna let y'all check it out yourselves I think a lot of the themes in here are cool um, some of them are very cool actually this this in my opinion is very cool because if you watched my the history of PS Vita hacking video. Um, you should recognize a few of these terms and names that's down here. So uh, this is kind of a nod to basically the beginning of PS Vita hacking, and it's it's just extremely cool in my opinion. But other than that, this is Technic. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Um, in this video, I just taught you how to install a Vita Shell theme pack. And in the next video following this, I'm actually going to show you how to create your own themes. So please stay tuned for that video. I will be releasing that one tomorrow, not tomorrow uh, morning, but the the morning after this video, because you're, you're going, I'm recording this the day before uh, this video is actually going to be released. So it's going to be released the following day. So this is Technic. Thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all in the next video.